Canadian engines now being gimbaled as a steering check for Columbia. Beanie cap, the gaseous oxygen vent hood now being retracted. Memory cleared, unexpected errors. OTC copies. And Columbia OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 slow, and enjoy a weightless Thanksgiving. Yeah, let's just go for ET. Right, that's ET the first day, uh, we sure appreciate all your work for this slow and this morning, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. I did that. Flashman of liquid hydrogen now terminated, and the hydrogen tank is pressurized. One minute, 30 seconds. Sound suppression water system now being armed. Rocket booster joint heater is now being turned off. Final check of booster commands. Locks and LH2 fill and vein valves are closed. Solid rocket booster hydraulic power units have started. Sound suppression water system armed. Rain safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence start. 7, 6. Three main engines up and burning. 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a diversified mission of astronomy and commercial space research. Columbia, roll program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Columbia is in a heads-down, wings-level position, headed to its 190 nautical mile orbit. Twenty-eight seconds into the flight, Columbia's engines are now beginning to throttle down to 67% of rated thrust. As the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia now. Miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of four miles. All three main engines, APUs, and fuel cells continuing to perform well. Columbia Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Columbia's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia now traveling 1,800 miles per hour, 15 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. All three main engines continuing to perform well. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. Roger, performance nominal. 
two minutes, 18 seconds into the flight. The booster officer has confirmed good separation of the solid rocket boosters and performance on board Columbia has been as expected. All three main engines are continuing to perform at 104% of rated thrust. The three auxiliary power units and fuel cells are also continuing to perform as expected. Columbia now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at a distance of 55 miles, an altitude of 42 miles, traveling 3,290 miles per hour.